To create a new account with OneShot, we can log into app.oneshot.us. This lends us onto the login page. We get this option to create a new account. Just click it, and we are on the registration page. You can enter your details. You can enter your work email. Enter your company information. Enter your phone number. Confirm your password. And submit it. This email is already taken. In this case, you can use another email. You have received the code. Once our verification is completed, we directly land on the login page. Although we need to verify our account while we will be trying to log in next time, the first step that we need to do is we can invite all our team members here. We can click on an invite so we can assign the role of agent or administrator. So difference between agent and administrator is that agent has access to conversations. He can see all the conversations and assign the conversation to other agents and resolve conversations while administrator says so will have access to settings. Features like enabling the account, set all other details, invite other team members. Once all our emails are added, we can bifurcate it into teams else we can move on to inbox. We can create inbox from multiple channels like website, Facebook or the Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, we can have account from Twilio or 360 log. On SMS, it supports Twilio and the bandwidth. We can have any email account configured. On Telegram, we can create a Telegram bot and we can interact with that. If you want to connect with the line, we can generate these channels from the respective line account. And then we can configure it. If you want to read any help documents, then all the documents are available at help.1hash.ai. So let's start with inbox creation. If we wanted to set up an email account, enter your email address. Here you can add the agents manage your newly created inbox. Only the selected agents will have access to your inbox. Agents which are not part of this inbox will not be able to see or respond to messages in this inbox when they log in. We can select these agents. Now we got this email address and we need to forward mail to the following address. In this, we want to forward it from Gmail so we can do it by going to account settings. Go to forwarding and POP slash MAP. Paste that email address here. Now once we proceed, we get verification code on our channel. Copy this confirmation code. Paste it here and verify it. Once it is verified, you can select to which address you want to forward it. You can save the changes and once it is done, you will receive the notification. Now, if I send any email to this email account, it will reflect on OneChat. You can see the mail has landed here in the inbox. Now we can directly reply to the user. In case you want to tag any internal team member so that is also possible and only verified users can be tagged here. Here you can write any private note to the user. In case you want to see it in full screen, that is also possible. We can add emojis, add attachment. These private notes are visible in the form of conversations. Once the conversation is resolved, you can mark it from here. 
All the information which is not available, we can update it by adding the relevant details. All the details can be updated from here. Similarly, if we want to add multiple email accounts, we can also do it by following the same process. If we want to connect to Facebook, we click on Messenger. Select Next. And once we have done all the processes, we can see that account has been linked with OneChat. Now we select the page, name the inbox, and create it. Once it is created, select the agents who will have access to the inbox. Send messages from Facebook page. So once we send a message, you can see it is visible in one chat. And you can directly reply from here. As you can see, users can get direct reply. Now let's say we wanted to set one for the website. Select website from inboxes. Add website name. You can set your widget color as per your theme. Add welcome heading. Also enter your welcome tagline. If you want to enable channel greetings, you can do that. Enter a greeting message that the user will receive. Based on these settings, we can add agents to the inbox. We just need to copy this code and come to your website. Now paste this script to our HTML header or footer on the website. So go to Website Settings and scroll down. That you can find HTML header. Paste your script in this section and save it. We can see this icon that has been published. We can start the conversation. Here you can see the welcome message. You can add your email address. And these details we get updated into OneChat. We can add a reply here and once we send the user also gets updated from the agent that has been assigned. Users can also attach files and send any emojis. Similarly, we can add the rest of the channels as well according to our requirements. We can create our Telegram bot, connect with the API. We can connect via line, SMS, WhatsApp, whatever channel is required, we can use that. Now if we require responsive email templates, that can be done under the canned responses. We can add canned response and add short code. We can add this message as per our requirements. And whenever we reply to our conversations, we can use these. With the help of forward slash, we can select the templates which are already available and just initiate typing and we receive related shortcuts. We can select that shortcut, and a complete message will be available and we can send it. We can send the transcripts directly from here. It has options like sending to customer, or to agent, or to any other email address. We can assign it to the other agents or also to any team. We can add the labels as the lead. You can add new labels from here. So these labels which are configured can be assigned to the conversations. With this, we can filter out of the conversation where you were mentioned. All the emails we receive get added to the contacts. We can search by applying filters in these contacts. If we want to have an overview, we have this CSAT. 
Customer Satisfaction Report Based on that we can see total responses, what is satisfaction score and response rate? Based on the survey, we can enable any of the inbox CSAT score. Once we have updated, when we resolve any conversation at that time, we can ask the customer for ratings. We can connect the CSAT score, have these reports. Based on the customer satisfaction, a complete report can be seen as an agent. We can see it based on a particular inbox, based on a particular team. From labels, we can see complete resolution. We can integrate it with Slack and Webhook as well. Our account settings can be managed from here. For billing, we can change our plan directly in case we want to have a trial or directly buy the subscription so it's possible from here. Thank you.